Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby, and I am a mom of four, and I share a lot of lifestyle and homeschooling content here on my channel. Today is no exception. I am going to be sharing my full day of food. About three weeks ago, I started loosely using the Trim Healthy Mama method, although you will see as this video goes on that I'm still learning. I don't have like really great plans in place yet, but basically what I decided to do about three weeks ago was to start using the method. I bought the books. I, however, have not invested in any of their products yet, simply because um, I'm giving it a whirl during our my kids summer break and then I'm going to evaluate and see kind of what I think of it and then make some investments we are also traveling quite a bit this summer and so I didn't want to invest in stuff for my kitchen since I won't be in my kitchen quite a bit this summer so as of right now we are home for five days between a couple of different trips for different reasons and so we're home for a few days my kids are in camp this week and I am just essentially modifying my normal foods um, to fit as closely to the method as possible. And then when we get home from this next trip, I will start using some of the recipes from the cookbook. So again, it's not gonna be a perfect day, but I wanted to document my journey with Trim Healthy Mama. Um, so as the months go on and I share different videos, you will see that I learn the process a little more and um, get a little better at staying true to the official method. So if you are a Trim Healthy Mama fan, let me know some of your favorite recipes down in the comments down below. I was really pleasantly surprised when I shared my goals video and I shared my reasoning for going on Trim Healthy Mama. Um, how many of you are big fans? That really encouraged me to go ahead and give it a try. I'm looking forward to it. I know that just initially cutting the sugar, which already wasn't a super heavy part of my diet, has made me feel so much better, and it really seems to be a good method for me thus far. Like I said, I'm only on week three, so I really can't say for sure yet, but I really like it, and what I like the most about it is that I'm probably eating more and restricting less food groups now than I was before just subconsciously. So all that being said, uh, here is what I am going to eat today um, on Trim Healthy Mama-ish. <laughs> plan. All right, good morning. I'm starting my day off with my um, vitamin as well as a coffee. Now in this coffee, I just have a little bit of cream, not too much because I'm going to have an E breakfast. Uh, and then I like these sweet drops. One, two, three, um, they are hazelnut kind of dark still. I don't think you can see this early, but um, they're really good. And I usually just use plain stevia. I've used plain stevia in my coffee for about a year now, but these little hazelnut ones give it a nice little kick. So that is what I'm starting my day with, getting the kids dressed and ready for camps. And then I will make my breakfast. All right, you'll have to excuse my uh, messy stove. I got everybody out the door for camp in a rush. And then I got my Peloton workout in and I decided that I want an email for breakfast which I had already kind of planned last night because I have been just really wanting some oatmeal and I also really want a banana so I want I really like to put banana in my smoothies so that's one of the adjustments is like not putting a banana in every smoothie that I have because it is considered carbs obviously um, which I've never really counted before, although I would say that I've limited myself on carbs in the past, um, it, other than bananas in my smoothies or maybe some Ezekiel bread here and there. I tend to not go for like breads or anything like that, even oats. So to some degree, being able to have oatmeal on this plan is... Um, one of the bonuses for me, like I'm eating a little bit more, not restricting as much. So I kind of appreciate that. I am out of breath because I just got off the Peloton, but I'm making the um, a recipe I found for like no bake oatmeal cookie oats. So it's kind of like those no bake cookies that are chocolate peanut butter cookies, um, but it's hot oatmeal. And I'm making a little less than the recipe calls for. And then I'm going to make myself a smoothie with a banana as well, like a green smoothie. Um, and so the only modification I've made to the recipe is that I use stevia. I don't have the Trim Healthy Mama 
sweeteners or products yet. Um, I probably said something in my intro about that. Um, and then I have this PB Fit instead of the defatted peanut butter. But I just read the label and I, I don't want to buy anything until I use everything up that I have. Uh, the kids like this PB Fit uh, in their smoothies as well. But the fat count is pretty low. Um, so I only used half a serving and it's only got two grams of fat in one serving. So I used half of that in here. Um, so it should work out fine because I don't like a super strong peanut butter uh, flavor anyway. It's a little TMI, but one, one time when one of my kids was a toddler, he was very sick and he had just had peanut butter crackers and very, very sick, you know what I mean. And I, I will never forget the smell of peanut butter throw up. I know that sounds disgusting. Sorry that I just said that. But I used to love peanut butter. Can't do it anymore um, in, in too high of a dose. So anywho, um, I'm just going to make this. It's just mixing together some cocoa powder, which I use cacao. And uh, I did a half a scoop of the PB Fit. Some almond milk. I did three quarters cup. I'm going to do about a third cup of oats, a little stevia. And then I'm going to make myself the smoothie to have on the side. And um, yeah. I'll show you when it's all okay, put together. Okay, here's my smoothie. So I have a half of a, about a half of a frozen banana. I measured about a half a cup of frozen banana. It is what it is. Might be a whole banana. Um, and then I've got some spinach, some berries. I'm gonna add some ice after I blend this a little bit. I did use one scoop of my Orgain vanilla protein powder. Two scoops is four grams of fat. One scoop would be two grams of fat. It's a half a serving, but I also did like a half a serving of the PB Fit in the oatmeal. Again, I'm not a purist. Well, I think that word is thrown around on a lot of the websites that I read, so I'll use a different word. I'm not really sticking to this plan um, like like it's like a religious, like I'm not like we're sticking to it religiously. I'm really more so just shifting my mentality and trying it out for this six weeks of summer. And then I'm going to like make investments and kind of refine it a little bit, but I'm easing into it because I just know myself and I know the things that I like. And so I don't want to like cut out the protein powders or the smoothies and things that I think are generally healthy, um, in order to like be fully subscribed to this. Um, I don't mind cutting the amount of protein powder in half to make this a e-meal and, uh, you know, get in those guidelines. But if I had one extra gram of fat, I'm really not holding myself to it because I just, you know, I'm doing okay. Staying near the guidelines enough. So, um, anyway, I also added some daily green boost in there as well. So I'll blend this up while the oatmeal All is right, finishing. So up. here's my breakfast. I've got my banana berry green smoothie with a little bit of vanilla protein powder and my um, no bake peanut butter oatmeal cookie oatmeal with a little bit of um, protein powder in there as well. Okay, so I picked the kids up from camp, got some YouTube work done, um, and they are now playing with cousins. And so I'm by myself here today for lunch, so I had some time to boil myself some eggs. Now you guys know that I really like the buffalo chicken salad, and that is actually an S meal on, um, Trim Healthy Mama, for the most part. I mean, I use butter already in it, and then I haven't checked the buffalo sauce if there's added sugar, but I'm not super worried about it. Um, however, today I really just didn't feel like making myself buffalo chicken. I would have to thaw the chicken in the freezer. I didn't buy any chicken this week because we're just home for a few days before we're heading out of town again, and so I just boiled eggs instead, so I just kind of made a cob salad. So I've got some salad greens, two hard-boiled eggs chopped up, a half of a small tomato chopped up, some shredded carrot, and blue cheese. Is that everything? Yes, I don't have any cucumber either, and I didn't buy avocado this week because I didn't want it to um, not ripen until we were out of town, you know? Um, I'm using Newman's oil and vinegar dressing. That's my favorite. Um, the label just fell off in the cooler because it got wet. Um, and did I say it's about 1.30? So it's been three, about three and a half hours since I ate my breakfast. I'm also having uh, a slice of pepper jack cheese, like a cracker cut slice, and a slice of cheddar with a couple pieces of turkey um, because I ended up not making chicken. And I'm just pretty hungry because what I've learned so far is that when I do have the E-meals, 
I get really hungry really fast. And then when I have the S meals, I have to tell myself like, hey, you need to eat something. It's been four hours. Um, so I definitely feel like um, the carby meals make me hungry much, much faster. And I actually was toying with the idea of having a second cup of coffee after that meal, but I decided to hold off because I really do like to have a second cup in the afternoon instead of in the morning. So anyway, that's my lunch today. Um, and then I will also, in about an hour and a half or so, have another cup of coffee with cream. And I may have a... Uh, like a Greek yogurt, uh, a fat-free Greek yogurt or something like that um, in between. But I know my dinner tonight is going to be an S dinner as well. Um, I already obviously have that going. And we're having company tonight for dinner, so I'll probably just do a voiceover because I don't think I want to be talking about Trim Healthy Mama while we're serving dinner to other people. So um, that is... All right, my lunch. so it is now about 5.30. I ate lunch at 1.30, and we are not going to be eating dinner now until about 7.30. I wasn't really sure what time we were going to be eating, so it is going to be a little bit later. We have my father-in-law coming over tonight. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and have a snack. So I am just having some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Um, I did a, like a half a serving of Lily's chocolate chips. Um, a serving is just a little bit more, but I just didn't like I didn't put enough uh, Greek yogurt in for a full serving of those chocolate chips. It would be like I was just eating straight chocolate chips and then some sliced strawberries and this should be good to hold me over for the next two. It's five. Okay, it's 510 actually. So this would be good to hold me over for the next two and a half hours. So that is my snack and I usually am not much of a snacker because I kind of get a late start like breakfast i will have coffee in the morning but then i don't really eat breakfast until like 8 8 39 and then have lunch at 12 or 1 and then you know dinner a few hours later so i kind of get all of my meals into a more condensed time frame but i'm feeling like a snack today and um <laughs> that made me laugh. I'm feeling like having a snack today. And I usually do put together some snack trays for the kids and I. So I have some easier like grab and go things like some berries and things like that in our little my little snack tray. But the kids are in camp this week. And so I haven't been doing the snacks here at the house. So I just put this together. So I usually have some like fruit and veggies to graze on throughout the day, but not today. So this is my snack. My father-in-law came over for dinner, so I made Mississippi roast and I use gluten-free gravy when I make this for him instead of the uh, traditional method, which is to use au jus. So I made Mississippi roast. I also made gluten-free biscuits and some mashed potatoes and some Brussels sprouts. And then I also tried the recipe for loaded cauliflower casserole. This is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe that a lot of people suggested when I said that I was going to be trying Trim Healthy Mama. So this was the first official Trim Healthy Mama recipe that I have tried. I made one for now and one to freeze. It was so good. Initially, I thought it was just gonna be something that I ate, but everybody ate some. And then as a family, we ended up like when, with everybody trying it, we ended up using the whole um, dish. And so I just have one to freeze and I want to protect it because it was so delicious. So it ended up being a big hit all around, not just for myself. So thank you guys for that suggestion. Anyway, that is what a full day of eating looked like for me on Trim Healthy Mama-ish. <laughs> um, I will continue to do these maybe once a month or so as I continue to ease into this Trim Healthy Mama method. If you guys have any favorite recipes, encouragement, or tips for Trim Healthy Mama eating, leave those in the comments down below but I'm really pleased with this so far I don't feel like it's too complicated and I'm looking forward to the coming weeks as I get more and more into it so thank you guys for watching I will see you soon bye guys